You know I almost missed being a million miles from nowhere. Chiba? Why did you take us all the way out here? <laughs> Have you no eyes in your heads, peons? Behold, these magnificent white sands, this crystal clear lake, and the mansion at the lakeside. What better place for the perfect vacation? Is this not the summer paradise that you longed for? The dream island destination that makes you the envy of your peers? Wait. <laughs> Why is there absolutely nothing here? And to think... It cost us a million gold to become the owner of this island. A million? You mean to say you bought this island? We saved up the money over a long period of time. We had intended to purchase an opulent mansion on a small cozy island. And then, we would gather the loveliest women from around the world to our paradise. Eat, drink, and be merry. It was our dream come true. What are we to do with this dinky, dreary, desolate excuse for a landmass? Looks like you've been had. Yep, yep. It's clear that Sheba tricked. You are indeed correct. We have been well and truly deceived. That Ardanian black feathered fool. He robbed us of our money and made off with it. Black feathered fool? Could it have been a Nopon merchant? I see. It seems you can identify the perpetrator. That makes things simple. Right. All we've got to do is get the money back from them. Come on, Chira. Mia. Morag. Bridget. You will lend us your aid. Go to the city. If we leave this merchant to his own devices, there are sure to be more victims. We should get this over with as quickly as possible. Oh, our beloved friends! You alone would treat us with such kindness. As proof of our gratitude, let us welcome you into the uppermost echelons of our entourage. Nah, you're right there. Indeed, I don't think I'm befitting of such a position. Agreed. It's the thought that counts. Tis a shame, truly. But it matters not. That impudent feathered fool, on the other hand. How dare that dirty, dopey-looking creature toy with our delicate feelings? Justice will be served, we swear! Come, beloved friends, let us make for Alba Kavanich, the Imperial Capital. Ah, peons and beasts may carry the luggage. We expect you to pull your weight. Excuse me? There you are, you black feathered ingrate. Who are you? First you swindle us, and now you have the gall to make an innocent girl cry? Scum of all rest. Your wicked meddling ends here and now. Who this woman? Why she make so much racket? Ah! I remember her. She dum-dum who buy Desert Island for one million gold. That's hilarious. How stupid can woman be? <laughs> Mocking an exalted figure, are you? You ought to be put in your place. We hope you are ready for your just desserts. Desserts? We have plenty food already. Now, ah, what you gonna do about it? Divine punishment! <laughs>
Now step forward if you'd like to be a forgotten page in the annals of history. Wait! Calm down! There important reason why we do what we do! There is nothing you could possibly say to allay our righteous anger. Prepare yourselves! Whoa, whoa, hold on a second, Sheba. Stay out of this, Rex. Or do you wish to receive similar punishment? But if you beat these guys up, how are you going to get your money back? <gasps> Indeed. The peon makes a fair point. We should at least listen to what they've got to say. You can always pummel them later, yeah? Oh, well, how could we refuse advice from our dear friend Nia? All right. We shall listen to your pitiful pleas. However, if we perceive even the slightest hint of foul play, you know what's coming to you, yes? <laughs> There is nowhere left to run, feathered fool! Repent and return that which does not belong to you! We not obliged to give back one coin! You the fool for being tricked! Why, you... infidel! Just wait a minute, Shiba. Divine punishment! <laughs> ah, in our fit of anger, we... Precious one million gold! The great unwashed are lining their pockets with it! You've really done it now. I tried to stop you. Yours, isn't it? You... you would return this to us? Yeah? Everyone needs money, don't they? Oh, sweet, sweet child! Oh, purest angel! All of you, you do this for our sake. You have... Our sincerest thanks. It is we who were the fools. To have doubted you even for a moment. We are undeserving of such honesty. Wait! You deserve a reward. We shall invite you all to a magnificent tea party. Really? Sounds amazing! Huh? You can invite all these kids? That is correct. The money is no longer of any consequence. For we have found something more precious than all the world's jewels. These pure, perfectly innocent children have opened our eyes. We were wrong to focus solely on gathering an entourage and holding magnificent parties. What we really should have been seeking was the unblemished hearts of these darling children. Inviting these children to our tea party is more than enough to make us happy. Sheba, are you sure about this? If there is one thing we are sure of, it's this. Our dream remains, only redirected. Well then, maybe I just might decide to tag along too. Would you mind if I joined you as well? Absolutely! The more the merrier! Mmm! This is super tasty! <laughs> I've never had anything like this before! It gladdens us to hear that! From the bottom of our heart! 
do help yourselves to tea and treats. It's all there for your delectation. Let us have a celebration to end all others. So tell me, why are we the ones serving the food again? This outrage! Tora, not accept this! Shush, you. Just grab out. Don't go ruining the moment for them. 